Hey my crafting friends, I'm Pebbles. Welcome to my channel, Qualitas Creations. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an embellishment box. I'm using this plastic box that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. It comes in a three pack. And I will use Summer Dreams by Echo Park. So, let's get started. I have a cereal box. It's mom's best cereal. It really doesn't matter what cereal box you use. And I'm going to take my embellishment box. Let's see which way it opens first. That always helps. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna open this direction. So I'll close it. I'm gonna flip it over. And let's see, I think it'll fit this way. I'll trace. Now I have this white pencil. You don't have to use a white pencil. You can use a regular pencil. You can use a pen. I mean, it's totally up to you. I'm just tracing around here so I can cut it out. So I'll trace around this way. Make sure I mark every spot. set this aside and you can see where I traced it out and now I'll cut it I have my finger blade. I'll take the backing off of the two sided tape. I added glue to the two-sided tape. So I have a little wiggle room here. And now it's time to place the paper down. Try to bring it over and off. Looks pretty good. I use my bone folder, smooth it out. Now I do see there's some areas that I need to trim a little bit. That's okay. I'll take my um, finger blade here. I almost called it a pen knife. It's not a pen knife, it's a finger blade. <laughs> and ta-da! Just trim up those little areas. It's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I'm just trying to make it nice. So don't get frustrated if yours is exactly perfect. This is gonna take practice. This is a new box that I'm using. 
I used to use the boxes from um, Dollar Tree, but I can't find them anymore. I don't know what happened. Did they just quit selling them or what? So I had to find something else to make my embellishment boxes from. So I decided to use the ones from Hobby Lobby. And that's why I had to make a new template because I did not have a template for this particular box. And that's why it's, I need to trim off a little area here. You know, I rather have a little bit too much paper on it than not enough because you can always trim the excess off. But if you cut it too short, well, then that can be a little bit of a problem. I mean, even if you do cut it a little too short though, you can hide it with other paper or ribbon or some embellishments. So that's, I mean, it's not really a problem. It's just, uh, you'll just have to add a little bit something else to it. It's not a big deal. It really isn't a learning opportunity and here is what it looks like I think it turned out pretty good now it's time to work on the inside so I'm gonna flip it over outline it again I can only outline it so far okay <laughs> if I have a ruler around here. I'll just kind of draw it a little bit. So this is what it looks like. And I'll cut it out. It doesn't fit, so I'll try. Take a little bit off here. Okay, and here we go. I just had to keep working at it, but it fits. So this will be my next piece for the inside. Template for the inside. And this is gonna be face up, so I want to use this for my inside. So this time, since this is a darker, design I will use my pencil oh my goodness my pencil is dull but if you remember from one of my hauls I did purchase an electric 
pencil sharpener. So let's see, did I put the battery? Okay, I did put the batteries in. <laughs> first things first, make sure you have batteries. Let's see if it works. That would be a no. Let me make sure I have my batteries in the right way. Let's see here. Okay, I think I had them in backwards. Let's try it again. <laughs> I did, I had them in backwards. <laughs> Oops. Ah! Oh my goodness. Let's try this again. Blooper City here, okay. So this is what it looks like. This is the Dollar Tree pencil sharpener, the electric one. It actually works pretty good, I think. <gasps> OMG. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys. This pencil sharpener works. I am so excited. You know, I just had to put the batteries in the right way. <laughs> it always helps. <laughs> okay, so I will... Use the white pencil here. Trace my template. Oops, I moved it. I don't want to do that when I move it back where it's supposed to go. There we go. cut this out I'll remove the tape add the glue and attach this enjoy the music And here's the inside. I have the sticker sheet and it's from Echo Park. It's the Summer Dreams collection. And I decided to use, and you can use any type of cardboard. I'm just using a cereal box. So what I did, and I'll show you how I did this. Just took a sticker. Let's grab this one. <clears throat> Sun Fun. And so I just put it right here and then I cut it out and you don't have to do this to your stickers I just want to give them a little extra backing here because I'm going to put them on my embellishment box that's the plan and I will uh, use some foam to give it a little dimension Just keep cutting. <laughs> I 
The sunglasses say summer, and I thought this was some sun fun. I thought it said summer. Nope, that does not say summer. It says sun fun. And I did the same thing to these stickers, so you can see the cardboard on the back. I think I'll use this one. Put it here. Thought about using this over here. Oh, I kind of like the glasses. They don't fit like I want them to fit though. Maybe if I put them over here. Here we go. I purchased this from the Dollar Tree. So I will adhere this on the back. And this is what my embellishment box looks like so far. Thought it turned out really cute. And here's the inside. Not done with this yet. I ordered from Carrie at Double Click Connect. I ordered her Summer Vibes Dew Drops, and they're right here. So I'm gonna add some dew drops to this. Arrange the dew dots where I want them. So now I'll adhere them.
I have my paper here and it's adhered. I have my embellishments and I have my dew drops. I'm just gonna let the glue dry and this is the end of my embellishment box. You can just open it up. I don't wanna open it right now because the glue isn't dry yet. You can open your embellishment box once your glue dries and add whatever you want inside of your embellishment box. Well, thank you for spending time with me today. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a positive comment. I hope everyone has an awesome rest of the week. Stay safe, stay positive, and keep crafting. Bye, my crafting friends.